Among cities distinguished for artistic achievements in Nigeria, Ibadan is a groundbreaker. But beyond that, Ebaudan, as the ancients call it, denoting a land seated by the edge of the middle, is a place with origins best left in the pantheons of mystery. As distant as it may be to other parts of the world, the ideas that flow from this land of culture have brought it closer to the doorsteps of many. The spotlight on four-year-old Adigun Olowe Yoruba, the Encyclopedia of Yoruba Proverbs, and Ori Ofer Williams, the theater scholar who left lecturing in the university to build a film village in the forest of Arapaja, may just be a drop of the many ingenious discoveries from Ibado. An innovation by a young man that explains everything about the Yoruba culture in relation to sharpening investment intelligence has just emanated from one of these roofs. You may have seen the Ayu, a local board game popular among the Yoruba people, but not anything as explanatory of the Yoruba culture and roots, people and traditional system as this discovery by Tobiloba Ogungbemi. Called Oroaje, the culture enhancement game is as complex as the popular monopoly, yet considered simple for even a toddler as described by its creator. I wanted to know more about the game from a scholar and not necessarily the innovator at first. Mr. Ogunbemi took me to Professor Akin Alao, an expert of legal history at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife. Clear to everybody to see, and uh, it speaks to the creativity of the of the man who made it. Oraje is an in ingenious, creative way of repackaging aspects of our culture for daily living and for preservation of the salient aspects of the Yoruba intellectual tradition. He went further to explain how society can tap into the holistic concept of the game with intrinsic native values. Beyond the scholarly enunciation, I needed to see how the game is played for real. Here is Mr. Ogunbemi setting the floor for the young and the old, men and women, to have a feel of the knowledge board of Oroaje. Under the shed of this tree is the arena. It is to preach the authenticity of Yoruba culture and educate about the morals and ethical conduct as emerged within the fabrics of the game in subtle and sublime forms. With an administrator or the players administering themselves, they start the game from Odudua, the progenitor of the Yoruba race. People sit to watch as players engage themselves. Right behind me is a cross section of players of the Oroaje game, created by a young Nigerian to promote the Yoruba culture, tradition, and value system. Tobiloba Ogungbemi says the game is to bridge generational gap between the younger generation and the older generation. I'm interested in understanding how the game is being played. I got myself engrossed in the business dealings and transactions that ensue as the game is being played. Beyond the scope of the culture and tradition of Yoruba people, the game also covers investment, land acquisition techniques, business transaction, trade, and knowledge of places in Yoruba land, monarchs, supremacy, and the deities. And from here, from this game, you can relate it to real life. It's actually simple. But the developer was almost described as one sick in the mind while putting this concept together. Why they continue? Okay. Let's, let's get to talk about it. Oh, okay. Let's get to talk about it. Because sincerely, I will need you to do a bit of uh, explanation about how this game has come to you. The inspiration behind this game, well, I would say, one of those things that I got from the game is life gives you, puts you in a position, and God creates, gives you a skill from heaven. 
Some people call me madman because I think differently from the way normal, rational people think. I take risks that are not worth it. So I, I saw that as a skill, as a gift. Now, I was listening to a group of young boys talking about betting, sports betting. They made some money, yet they could not invest it. Now they are back to being grass men. The idea of the game was best in 2016 and it has passed through many phases before this final package. When I had the idea to do something like this, I had to first do my literature review. I had to meet with people. But the problem was there were no literatures adequate enough with the kind of content that I needed. So I had to first go through the local enclaves of those that are still in line with the culture. The, those people that don't have written documents, but oral documents. So I had to learn a bit about the Ifa system, the religious system, the belief system and everything. The young and old have found a connection and exchange of intellectual knowledge. There's a part on the board that talks about the role of the police, which is the area of Nokakanfo. Who is presently, we, we are so lucky to still have that title in Yoruba land, is the head of security in Yoruba land. And at that part of the board, he wants to commit any crime to anybody. He arrests you, but he doesn't detain you. He is the arresting officer, while Elegbara is the detaining of, is the punisher. He hands you over to Elegbara. That's just to tell you the chain of command. That Yorubas, we have a, we have, we have a governance system before westernization came in, before colonization came in. Back to the game. Adigun Ayojesu is just an 11-year-old boy who is more at home playing the game. This is my third time playing it. And again, help me see the history and how to invest business and all of that. So the third quadrant is now Odudua. Once I've gotten to that particular place, you haven't really yet started the game. You're just going for going sick. But once you have gone around and you have come back to Odudua again, you have started the game. Odua will give you like a gift. But the gift will be money, money version. They will give you um, 2,000. 2, 2,000 calories. What? I devoted a few minutes to join as a player and I found it very interesting and revealing. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the area has caught you. So you go to Yewe Legbara. The manual translated into seven languages. Oruaje teaches the culture of economy, business management and financial wisdom to the players which they can apply in real life. There is a manual for it, which has made this whole game available in seven foreign languages. When I mean seven foreign languages, I mean English inclusive. English is not our language. Yoruba is our language. Now, foreign language, English, Portuguese, Danish, Chinese, uh, French, and uh, it's Italiano, okay. then Esperanto. So we have an, in all those languages. Tobilo Baugumbemi is beginning to get a few investors who believe in the prospect of the game. I needed to know more about the ingenious creator of the game. I paid a visit to his mother. Olufumilayo Ogumbemi referred to him as a gift from God who started demonstrating his dexterity right from childhood. My papa tea came after seven years. I have ceased to have the senior sister seven years older than me. Yes. In our home, he does everything. He can do anything. So I have seen him to be a genius right from she sees him making great impact in his generation. This Yoruba speaking, this has been a problem with me. When I see people speaking to their children in English, the English that will not be correct, 
I said, why not let your child know about your mother tongue before knowing this English? Because in my home, one thing I appreciate more, if you know how to think in your mother tongue, you will know every other thing. This is the first place to be Ogunbemi publicly exhibited on Raje. The founder of the art gallery, Tunde Odunlade, is excited that such Yoruba culture enhancement creativity has emanated from Ibadan. I could see that this is something that has to do with uh, uh, what I would call Kamaba Bagbe. Kamaba Bagbe is taken from Professor Adi Ajayi of Blessed Memory. You know, uh, a whole activity program that Baba did when he was alive. And it was part of a way of a reviving Yoruba culture in its entirety. So similarly, that's what I've seen that uh, Tobi has been able to achieve with, um, with Oraje. Oraje is the icing on his cake. He has been able to bring this together and to, it's, it's, it's an example of the maturation of his thoughts. At a time that many children are becoming too glued to materials from the internet, which may not have the genuine capacity to enhance their cultural growth and proper value system, Oruaje game has come to impact not only the young, but the old as well. Those coming after him, after the transaction. Its tendency to instill proper education on investment, business culture, as well as enlighten the world on intrinsic strands of Yoruba civilization stands it out among several other games ever created on the surface of the earth. This man is no doubt an asset to not just Nigeria, but to the black world. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Ibadan. And that's your money. That's my money. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not